Hello and welcome to the third tutorial from the Aquapack Freeform Pro basic tutorial series. Uh, this is Tutor Ted Jalescu and I hope uh, today uh, I'm going to show you something that um, is going to uh, spark your interest again uh, even more in Freeform Pro and the Aquapack. Uh, I'm going to use the Ocean Large project from the Aquapack to um, do a water replacement. Uh, the uh, Ocean Large project can be uh, basically used to uh, simulate large bodies of water, rivers, oceans, seas, uh, lakes, and um, it's, um, it's meant to help you not only uh, create an environment if you want to, uh, but more so than uh, all of the other projects, it's meant to help you replace water in uh, various uh, scenes, whether something that is shot and you want the water changed because you want a different color or you want something else to happen in the water, or uh, if you want to create something um, like uh, I'm going to try to do today, let's say you want uh, an opening shot for a documentary on Portland and uh, you want the helicopter shot that comes over the water uh, and the camera tilts up and looks at the city and maybe the title appears then or that's how you start um, your, your film or documentary or whatever. Um, so you don't have the money to do that. You take a nice still from a boat uh, uh, of the city, of the skyline, and uh, you go ahead and you try to do that in uh, After Effects. And uh, I chose this image of Portland, Oregon. Uh, I took the shot in uh, Photoshop, and um, I've created um, some layers. Uh, I separated uh, a front layer of buildings. Um, built in uh, over the crane here just make it look uh, a little more distinct uh, from the original image uh, painted in some of the buildings so if I uh, uh, offset these layers in space you could uh, sort of see a little behind the buildings in the front as the camera come, moves in and then of course just created the uh, last layer where the sky uh, shows up and I'm going to modify that a little as you will see so uh, this is what I did from this image and uh, I'm going to use the Ocean Large project to create uh, the water replacement and, and uh, create the shot that I described earlier. Uh, that being said, here I'm going to copy these three layers, uh, paste them into my Ocean Large comp, and uh, I'm going to uh, do several things before um, I start working with them. First, I'm going to go on my camera control uh, layer and uh, what I'm going to do there is I'm going to set up uh, my camera in a different position. Uh, basically, I'm going to use the position uh, that I have already set up in this project for the end of the uh, animation that it, uh, comes with the project. And I'm going to use the, these keyframes. Um, make sure that I reset the interpolation here and um, then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to tweak the uh, position a little by uh, bringing the tilt and the banking to zero and I'm going to make the pan minus 90 and then I'm going to bring this to the uh, edge of my water plane and that's about 1200 here um, let's see maybe 1000 just to make sure that I don't see any black under my water here um, that being said uh, I'm trying to create here a 10 second shot let's say which be about this long. Uh, I'm going to set up the background here. I'm going to move these layers right above my water controls and I'm going to make all of them 3D and I'm going to link the first two to the background copy so I can manipulate just the background and then 
I will rotate this. Actually, before I rotate this, let me offset these layers. And I'm going to do that by using position and then Z. I'm going to bring this to about 100 in Z space. And layer 2, I'm going to bring this to about 45. And then what I'm going to do with the position of the background, uh, I'm going to rotate this on a Y axis. There we go. 290 minus 90. And this shows me that I've forgot that I have to put this to minus 100 and this to minus 45. But minor setback. There we go. Um, now, once this is done, uh, what I'm going to also do is on the background, I'm going to change the anchor point. And I'm going to bring it down to the very bottom of the layer. There we go. Uh, that's because I want to change the scale of these layers and I don't want to change the positioning too much uh, once I uh, start doing that. And I'm going to take this back. Uh, woo, sorry. Uh, <laughs> position that would be an X on the position I'm going to bring this back but in order to be make sure I'm in the correct spot I'm going to use the four different views and there we go I just want to make sure that my first layer is right uh, just a little bit over the edge of my water plane and Going back to my one view, I'm going to use this to scale my background. And I'm going to scale this. Once I do this, I'm going to take my layers and bring them down underneath which will put them underneath my Freeform Pro layer. So because Freeform Pro does not interact uh, by intersecting in 3D space with other 3D layers in After Effects, that puts my Freeform Pro always on top, even if uh, in true 3D space, as we saw in the four views, uh, it's, uh, it's underneath and it intersects my, uh, uh, my first uh, layer. From the background layer too uh, but here it, it looks like I, I can see the edge um, and I do that because I want to see this undulating edge of the water uh, as it reaches the waterfront and one more thing I'm going to do with positioning is raise up my background up to here making sure that there's no black and I have my image under the waves of the water here. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unparent these two layers from the background and move the background way in the back just to accentuate the three-dimensionality of my background when I'm going to do my camera move uh, because usually the sky doesn't change that much so the further back I'm gonna uh, take it the less change I'll see in the sky and the more I'm going to see in the front two layers with the buildings giving the impression that I actually have a 3D uh, background there so I'm going to rescale this back make sure I touch the edges here where this is by the way, my widest position, my widest uh, frame. And just to make sure that those buildings don't show up, I'm going to bring this down a bit, hiding it underneath the other buildings. I could, of course, use a different uh, a clean sky uh, in the back, 
but uh, I just want to keep all the colors of this image uh, together the way they were, uh, all the elements. It looks nice. Um, once this is done, I'm going to uh, play a little with the way the water looks. Now, if we go back to my original image, you can see the reflection in the water uh, gives the water a total different look than what I have now. So I'm going to try to get as close as I can to that. Uh, and for that, I'm going to use uh, my reflection map from Freeform Pro. Now, um, if you uh, click the uh, hide uh, shy layers uh, switch, then you will see I have a reflection map comp in here, which you will also find in the bin under the hood in the project window. And in order to work on that and see the changes in my main comp, I'm going to lock the composition. I'm going to double click on the reflection map, take this new comp preview window and drag it to the side. Now I have two windows side by side, one in which I can see my reflection map, the other one I can see my main composition. And in this uh, reflection map comp, I will bring in my Portland layers comp. So just drop it right on top of it. You can see it already affects the way the water looks. Uh, in order to see more, I'm going to go back to my water controls layer and I'm going to play with water reflectivity, reflection shadows intensity, and reflection contrast. I'm going to bring them pretty much all up quite a bit. The reflection contrast maybe not as much as the others. And now you can see the water looks different, but I wanted to get it even closer to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my reflection map comp and I'm going to play with it. If I move this on this side, I can see how it affects my the look of my water. So there it is. I start seeing the buildings reflecting in the water. And I want to keep buildings down here. And this looks quite nice. I can resize it a little, maybe. There we go. I like that. It looks quite good. A lot better. Uh, it's not exactly the same like this but um, it's something that I could uh, I could live with and um, there it is now one more thing that I would like to do is uh, set up my camera move um, for that uh, let's see I'm gonna go to the very end to my 10 seconds and I'm going to move my camera in. I actually don't need the second window anymore. Uh, I'm going to move my camera in just so I can still see this building and this building over here. Uh, and then I'm going to ease this in. So now I have a nice movement of the camera over the water and at the end here let's see if I go 1100 that still works it's fine there we go and what I would like to do is for my camera to fly over the water looking down at the water and by the end I'm at my first four seconds the camera tilt up and show me the city so 
Uh, I'm going to use actually the camera controls uh, and I'm going to use the X rotation and set this keyframe here and then go back and I can see an issue here already. Let's see, I'm going to minus 17. Go back to 1000 here. And then I don't go over the edge. Um, so once that is done, now I have this tilt up. I see the city. I can even exaggerate this tilt a little, maybe with uh, three degrees here up at the city and then I'll easy ease this one as well now I have the keyframe set up I have my water the way I want it to look um, if let's say I'm not happy with the tint uh, the blue tint in the water here basically what I can do is go back to my reflection map go to my adjustment layer and adjust the hue here, adjust the blue, and then once I go back, I can see that I have different blue in the water that maybe resembles more the blue in the sky. And um, with a few more cosmetic uh, adjustments, uh, this is the final shot that I uh, got by using Aquapack and Freeform Pro to do water replacement and to create this opening shot. And that being said, uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, introductory series of tutorials for the Aquapack and Freeform Pro and um, that uh, it will uh, prove useful to you in your future projects and it'll uh, spark your interest and you'll go check out the Aquapack and Freeform Pro. This is Tudor Tejilescu signing out. Thanks for watching.